Caribou Crossing Single Barrel Canadian Whiskey. We're going to review this today. Um, I don't know anything about this. I know, um, I know that Canadian whiskey I have mixed feelings about. Um, love the bacon. But Caribou Crossing, I think this is kind of hard to find for a lot of people. I actually had a buddy pick this up for me while in Arkansas. And... Um, I believe this bottle was, what did he say? $57. So 57 bucks. This is a store pick as well. So the only other, other reason why I think it might be hard to find says it right here. Imported by Sazerac. Buffalo Trace, right? So um, again, that's about all I know. Now the other thing is I believe that this bottle is the, at least they tout it as the first single barrel Canadian whiskey product. So whether that's true or not, I don't know. That's just what I've heard. Um, anyway, let's get into it. And it has been a long time since I've had anything Canadian. So very cool packaging, kind of like what Crown does. Crown being the flagship, I'm guessing, of Canadian whiskey. Um, nice little blue bag here. Let's try to open it. And very, very cool bottle as well. So Single barrel select, they give a nice little tag here for that store as well. So cool looking bottle, cool looking topper. Let's get into it. So I guess they, the Sazerac company, AKA Buffalo Trace imports this. Probably why it's hard to find. Um, God, I hate these wax tops, man. Okay. This is 80 proof. So very low proof. Um, but look at that bottle, that's just gorgeous. Product of Canada, beautiful. Let's get into it. It's like a Blanton's topper almost. Okay. Color, actually looks pretty good. A little medium, what's the age statement on this? I think it's like three, or, three years or so. Um, okay. Yeah, medium kind of gold copperish looking. Not too bad. Let's nose it. Ooh, good sweet nose to it. It's interesting. Normally I can tell by by nosing a Canadian whiskey a much bigger difference between that and a bourbon. This one smells sort of similar. You got caramel, oak, vanilla like a lemony, almost fruity lemon citrusy type vibe to it. Smells pretty good. Cheers. Okay. There is zero finish on this. Like it just disappeared. Other than that, not a bad first impression. The taste has what I smelled, but definitely, so that's like your caramel oak vanilla, definitely getting a lot of butterscotch as well. Some people hate butterscotch. I tend to like that note in whiskey as long as it's balanced correctly. And it is, it's not too bad. Very light, very light coating of the tongue. Um, just light, very light, very short finish, very easy to drink and very tasty in that realm, but just obviously not a lot of depth. Yeah. Caramel, vanilla, oak. If you want something that's about as easy, and again, I know a lot of you guys hate this word, smooth to drink, this would be for you. Um... Just because of everything that I've drank, this lacks a lot of uh, depth, kind of character, deep boldness to it, which I've come to really like. But all that saying, it's, it tastes great. It's not, um, it's just so easy to drink. It's not your typical single barrel product that you're, that you're used to. But if you're looking for something light that just has very good balanced sweet flavors to it, good bottle here. Um, but because it's lacking all of those 
depths, deep characteristics that I'm looking for. Um, I'm going to score this a little bit lower than what we've done, but I'm not knocking it. It's pretty good. Let's go uh, 62 out of 100. 62 out of 100 Caribou Crossing Canadian Whiskey. That's a review. Uh, not bad, just lacking depth. Cheers.